Ukrainian startup launches fully autonomous drone strikes deep into Russian territory, rewriting the rules of modern warfare, Forbes reports. In a historic military breakthrough, Ukrainian defense startup Strategy Force Solutions has successfully deployed autonomous drone motherships in real combat operations against Russian forces, a world first that could reshape global defense strategies. Their breakthrough system, GOGOL-M, swaps out traditional three to five million dollar missile strikes for AI-driven missions costing just $10,000. While global powers like the US and China continue testing autonomous weapons, Ukraine has leapfrogged ahead, deploying AI-powered drone swarms on the battlefield today, not years from now. The Gogol M mothership, boasting a six-meter wingspan, can autonomously fly up to 300 kilometers behind enemy lines. It then releases two smaller attack drones that identify and destroy targets without human control. At the core of the system is Smart Pilot, an onboard AI that mirrors the instincts of a human fighter pilot. It uses multi-sensor fusion, combining cameras, LIDAR and communications to navigate and strike in environments where GPS and radio signals are jammed. In some ways, it's a self-driving car, says CTO Andri. He explains that while there aren't many obstacles in the air, the system still needs to remain lightweight. To achieve that balance, the team engineered a streamlined setup using cameras, LIDAR and communication tools to enable real-time navigation and coordination. LIDAR, which acts like laser radar, generates a detailed 3D map of the surroundings and functions in all lighting and weather, essential for reliable autonomous missions in hostile conditions. This gives the drones the ability to destroy parked jets and air defense, hit oil depots and infrastructure, strike deep into Russia with precision. One military operator described the experience. It feels like a video game. I set the waypoints and watch it work. In one of its most striking features, the drone can land near enemy targets, remain hidden and wait for hours before launching a surprise strike. A capability described as autonomous ambush mode. This gives Ukrainian forces a powerful edge in asymmetric warfare allowing for stealth operations previously thought impossible with drone tech. While the Pentagon's Defense Innovation Unit and China's drone makers remain in testing phases, Ukraine is already in full-scale production. Strategy Force Solutions now builds 50 Gogol M's and 400 attack drones per month, constrained only by military demand. The company's software-first approach also allows easy adaptation to new platforms, from flying drones to unmanned boats and ground vehicles. Military analysts suggest that Russia must now defend against autonomous swarms that don't need GPS, live control or constant communication, a nightmare for traditional air defense systems. As Forbes tech correspondent David Hambling notes, the crucial first step, long-range autonomous drone delivery, has now been taken. It may be version 1.0, but it's already a problem for Russia. The Ukrainian army has struck a gas-gathering station in the occupied city of Yenikieva in Donetsk region, Russian media reported. The strike was reportedly carried out by an aircraft-type drone in the morning, causing an explosion and a massive fire at the station. There were no reports of casualties. However, there were reports that the city was voluntarily evacuated. The fire could not be extinguished within several hours.
Ukraine has for the first time used a mother drone with artificial intelligence in the war with Russia. Having a range of 300 kilometers in the front, the drone is equipped with navigation that works without GPS Ukraine's Minister of Digital Transformation Mikhail Fedorov has shared a video of combat use of the drone. The device is capable of delivering two FPV attack drones up to 300 kilometers away, where they autonomously intercept and destroy targets ranging from enemy aircraft and air defense systems to critical infrastructure facilities. At a distance of up to 100 kilometers, the drone carrier can return for reuse. The cost of one combat mission is about $10,000, which is hundreds of times cheaper than a rocket launch. The drone is unique in a way that it doesn't use GPS. The smart pilot system uses visual inertial navigation, navigating with the help of cameras. Artificial intelligence not only controls the drone's flight, but also independently recognizes and selects targets. Russia is carrying out a large-scale modernization of its military infrastructure, which may indicate preparations for a potential global conflict. This was reported by the German publication Der Spiegel, citing satellite images and intelligence data. According to journalists, hundreds of new facilities have been erected throughout the Russian Federation, barracks, command centers, observation towers, warehouses, as well as kilometers of underground tunnels. In particular, we are talking about the modernization of the launch silos where the Avangard system is located, a hypersonic warhead launched by intercontinental missiles. German analysts emphasize that the modernization, despite its scale, mostly compensates for outdated Soviet facilities and does not upset the global balance between nuclear states. Let us recall that, according to the Speaker of the State Border Service of Ukraine, Andriy Demchenko, in the fall, Russia may use Belarus for new aggression specifically against Ukraine. After all, the active phase of joint exercises with Russia will begin on the territory of Belarus. According to him, there are no strike groups being formed on the Belarusian side, but the direction from Volyn to Chernihiv region remains potentially threatening. We are talking about the joint military exercises of Russia and Belarus Zapad 2025, starting in the summer. The active phase of the maneuvers is planned for September, and then an increase in the threat to Ukraine from the northern direction is expected. Earlier, the Institute for the Study of War said that Russia is preparing for a protracted war against Ukraine, and possibly a future conflict with NATO, as indicated by Moscow's efforts to increase production of drones and missiles, as well as government rhetoric. Russia's efforts to increase its own production of drones and missiles, as well as the ongoing adaptation of these strike packages, are likely part of a broader strategy to prepare for a protracted war in Ukraine and possibly a future conflict with NATO, the analysts said in a statement. ISW also continues to assess that the Russian government and military leadership are preparing for a possible future conflict with NATO. For example, Russian authorities have recently renewed their long-standing rhetoric denying the legitimacy of the collapse of the USSR in 1991, likely to create conditions for denying the independence and sovereignty of other former Soviet republics in the future. 